Well, I guess you know what this bumper is for. This is a G and it's made for square filing. Tim Art here. Had a couple questions from a couple guys up around uh, Chicago last week. He's talking about a square grind or chisel bit filing as we used to call it. And I wanted to kind of set up because a lot of people haven't used this particular position. But if you have a longer bar, it actually makes it easier. You can be able to set it up over a log or over a limb that supports it. You set the saw basically up at uh, 45 degrees. I use the double bevel. It's a double bevel. This is a Sandvik. I've got some inferred. Uh, it's a file that basically has six sides to it. Your objective in square file is to go right up to the point underneath. And so this double bevel sets the chisel angle, the side angle, and up to the point uh, all, in, all in one stroke. It also makes it nice because then you can set the depth gauges with this particular file. But you set the, you set the saw up and then any Jeep bumper will work. And you can take and go down 45, turn the file 45, and pivot it over 45. You're looking right down into that crease and that's how you want to, uh, to set it. Now I'm going to flip the saw, still staying at that 45. That sets up so that I come back and over and turn the file. And, and this side, the left side, when you're right-handed, is a little bit easier. If you're in the field, this gives you a, an option to be able to set everything up. Once you've converted the tooth over, like I say, it's, it's very easy to be able to get more time with it. But if you can, if you can see here, it uh, it's starting to to come together. So that's uh, changing a round file over to square ground chain. So check the channel right to the point. Make sure that your side angles are 90. All your teeth are basically a 20 degree top angle. Depth gauges. You can utilize the same file. I use the Husqvarna file plate. I go from the inside of the raker or depth gauge to the outside. If you go this way you can hear the difference. So that's all the teeth converted and probably could do just a, a few checks there make sure I'm on side plate angles and stuff but there's I got the channels up to the point no reason to really take and wear too much chain down right now. Go cut for a while and then uh, Re, re sharpen and now it's very easy to go back in sharpen the teeth back hope you enjoy this tim's tips look forward to any comments you may have and hope to see you along the forest staff's road good sawing to you